Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Set me free from my distress, O Lord. See my lowliness and suffering, and take away all my sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins, and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the Paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, If the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. 
He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked? Says the Lord God. Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil, the same kind of abominable things that the wicked man does, can he do this and still live? None of his virtuous deeds shall be remembered because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, he shall die. You say, the Lord's way, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair, or rather are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it's because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked, turning from the wickedness, he has committed, does what is right and just. He shall preserve his life, since he has turned away from all the sins that he committed. He shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? I trust in the Lord. May soul trust in his word. My soul waits for the Lord. More than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Please stand. Sinabi ng poong mahal, kasama ang ay layuan, kasalan ay pagsisihan. Kayo ay magbagong buhay, magbalik loob na tunay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. 
And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to the fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, someone said that the best way to win over an enemy is to turn that enemy into a friend. The best way to defeat an enemy is not to crush the enemy, not to destroy the enemy. The best way to defeat an enemy is to make the enemy a friend. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is the way God deals with us. When we commit sin, we become enemies of God. But how does God deal with us? The prophet Ezekiel, in our first reading today, tells us these consoling words of God. Do I derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked? Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? Ikinasasaya ko ba kapag ang mga gumagawa ng kasamaan ay namamatay? Hindi ba't mas magiging masaya ako? kung ang mga gumagawa ng, masay, ng masama ay magbago ng kanilang buhay, gawin ang tama at matuwid, at sila ay magkaroon ng buhay. When we commit sin and we become enemies of God, God does not deal with us through punishment and condemnation and destruction. God gives us the chance to repent, to return to Him, and to change our ways. God makes us His friends. And if this is the way God deals with us, should this not also be the way that we should deal with one another? especially with our enemies. And this is the challenge that Jesus gives us today in our gospel. When we have enemies and we are offering to God, Jesus said, leave your offering first. Go to your enemy and be reconciled with him or with her first. And then go back so that your offering may be pleasing to God. My dear brothers and sisters, when we have enemies, how do we deal with them? Lahat naman po tayo nagkakaroon ng hindi kasundo, kasamaan ng loob, 
nagkakaroon ng kaaway. Pero paano natin sila hinaharap at itinuturing? Do we wish the destruction of our enemies? Do we wish their condemnation? Do we wish them harm? Or do we want to make them our friends? To reconcile with them? To bring them back to our lives and to our hearts? My dear brothers and sisters, this season of Lent, let us allow God to make us His friends by our conversion and repentance. And this season of Lent, let us also exert every effort so that we may turn our enemies into friends. Kung tayo'y patuloy lamang sa pagsira, pagyurak, pagtapak sa ating mga kaaway, wala naman talagang nagwawagi, pare-parehong talo. Pero kapag yung ating mga kaaway ay naging kaibigan, doon tayo tunay na nagwawagi. Yun ang tunay na panalo. And if we are able to do that, we will be able to surpass the shallow righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. And we will be able to enter the kingdom of heaven. Please stand. There is so much bitterness and hatred among people, so much enmity and strife. Let us ask God for the power to be healers and reconcilers. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church may become an instrument of reconciliation, forgiveness, healing, and peace to warring peoples and nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may initiate programs that will promote justice, peace, and unity among peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may avoid revenge, violence, and strife on account of differences, ideologies, or creed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all of us may learn to forgive from our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may find spiritual healing through forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us also pray for our enemies. And let us also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, help us to look at one another with your own eyes, that we may accept and build up one another for your sake. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful away the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, 
We offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son. And in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May He make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may He keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, your, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look with favor on your people, O Lord, that what their observance outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.